Hey, I'm Mike Light. Welcome to my channel. Oh my god, it's so cold today. Look at all that snow. Look at all that snow. It's crazy. But it is a pretty exciting day because I'm going to BSC, which stands for British Society of Cinematographers. So let's go check it out. Okay, I'm really sorry that I couldn't take my camera inside. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so I'm really sorry I couldn't show... Oh. All right. So I couldn't really take my camera with me because apparently I had to register my camera and my lenses and all that stuff. So, uh, but I had my iPhone with me. So I'm gonna show you a couple of clips. So it was pretty amazing what they had in there. Uh, but my interest was around the cameras because I really want to purchase a cinema camera and I was debating between the Black Magic Ursa Mini, Canon C200, Canon C300 Mark II. I love Canon for the color science and the autofocus. I mean because I'm a, a single operator I really love that autofocus. I use 1DX Mark II uh, and for me the autofocus is great because you can just tap on the screen and it just focuses on the face or an object and it just split second. You know, it's super fast even at 1.2. Um, I was actually looking at the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. I was impressed. I was absolutely impressed but I wanted something bigger. I, I know it sounds dumb, I know it sounds dumb, but I wanted something solid. For instance, if I go to a client, right, and bring all my gear, you know, with big cameras, you know, like Ursa Mini or, you know, C200, C300, and they'll be impressed, right? But if I bring like something like Sony A7S or GH5, they're great cameras, but they're not impressive in their sort of, you know, in their size. They're portable, they're, they're fantastic for what they are. But for clients, clients want to see the value, you know, the value for money. So it is a big question whether you need a big camera to shoot a commercial or corporate event, a wedding. Um, I would say you don't. Uh, need a big camera but at the same time if someone turns up with a small camera but your competition turns up with a huge camera you know so the client will look with a guy with a bigger camera and a guy with a smaller camera and you know they'll judge all right he's probably successful because he's got bigger camera you know but I mean for us, cinematographers or videographers, camera operators, whatever you want to call uh, yourself, uh, the image quality is obviously the priority. For a client, they want to see big productions, you know, because they're going to pay a lot of money. The better equipment you have, the more you can charge the client. So the question for today is, what camera do you shoot on and does gear size matters? So please do comment below, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. 